Hey guys, it's Terry. I'm back. I'm here to show you how to make this little um, Easter wagon to go with your bunnies, your Dollar Tree bunnies, or just the set. I mean, it's cute by itself even without bunnies. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this. Um, it's really easy. Um, everything that you'll need, I did um, say in the last video that I posted, but since I'm doing this separately, I'm going to go ahead and just mention everything again. Okay, to make this wagon, what you'll need is one of these Dollar Tree crates. You need a piece of twine for the handle. You also need some of this. I got this floral moss at Dollar Tree. Um, I have it in this bag because it is extremely messy. So if you um, use this, just make sure you do it somewhere that you can clean it up fairly easily because it, it does get messy. Uh, it was coming out of the bag before I even opened the bag. You're also going to need um, a pack of these eggs here from Dollar Tree. There's little um, egg ornaments that you can put on a tree. Um, you need a pack of these. You also need some paint and paint brushes. I have a couple of the colors that I'm going to be using here. These ones I'm going to use for the eggs. Um, this brown here I'm going to use for the wagon. And this black I'm going to use for the wagon wheels, which are some of the wooden eggs. Um, you'll need a pack of these wooden eggs from Dollar Tree. And also a pack of the wooden carrots. Now, the pack that I got... When I made this wagon, I just went ahead and painted all of them up. So I do have them already painted. Um, the Easter eggs, I'll just go ahead and paint on camera. But these I do have um, painted up already. But that is how they look when you get them in the pack. I only painted one side because that's all that's going to be showing. I use them to put, put on the back to kind of cover the handle there. You don't have to do that. You don't have to add any of the eggs if you don't want to. Um, I'm sure you could find something else even to use for the wheels if you wanted to. Um, I also put a carrot there to, and it kind of holds the twine in there. It's another reason why I put the carrot on the front. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and set this aside. I think that's all um, that you need to make this. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I guess if we come to it, we'll get it then. Um, okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to get some of the eggs painted up so they can dry and get my cup here. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, some yellow, some pink and some, it's like, a. it's called Caribbean from Apple, Apple Barrel. I can never say that word right on the first try. Um, and then the yellow I'm using is the King's Gold. From Apple Barrel. This one is Pink Parfait. And the brown I'm using is Chocolate Bar. The black I'm using is just some chalkboard paint that I got. I believe I got this at Dollar Tree. Um, the Apple Barrel paint I actually got at Walmart. Okay, so let me grab a couple eggs here. I already have one pack open. So we're going to paint three eggs. And I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of paint on and just paint it. And this does dry fairly quick, especially if you put like a light coat on, which I don't feel like you need any more than like one coat on these. Maybe the pink. The pink's a little light, but I was fine with just the one coat. So we're just going to go ahead and paint this up. And we'll let that dry. Um, you also need some paper towels. And I mean, not only for if you, you know, get paint on your hands or whatever, like I just did, but we're also going to use um, the paper towels to paint the crate because we're basically going to stain the crate with a little bit of brown paint and water. So I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen that or not. I saw that on a couple of different videos and I thought it was a pretty cool tip um, because you don't have then the stain smell 
you know, the strong stain smell. Um, it's just paint and water, so. Okay, I'm going to get this yellow egg painted up here. I mean, you could even paint a bunch of these eggs up and put them in the wagon itself instead of the egg ornaments if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. You could add little designs on them. I just kind of painted them just a solid, just a solid color. But I mean, you could do whatever you wanted. You could put glitter on them. You could put some embellishments. Um, like I said, just paint little designs like polka dots or stripes. You could do kind of like an ombre look. That would be cute. Okay, so that's painted. Um, we'll go ahead and let that dry. Like I said, I have the carrots painted already. So I'm going to go ahead and take two and put them on here so I have them ready. Um, oh, I forgot the, the wills. we got to paint the wills. So you are going to need four of these wooden eggs for the wills. Um, the way I, I just hot glued, all of this I hot glued it. Um, I kind of put these so they stuck out below the wagon so it kind of helps it sit up. You don't have to do that. You could glue them up farther and just have it sit flat, whatever you want to do. And again, with these ones, I kind of stain these with a little bit of black paint and water. The ones I'm going to do today, I'm just going to paint them um, solid black just to have like a different wagon than the one I had already made. So we're going to need four of those and some of the black paint. I got moss. That moss gets everywhere. So I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of paint on one of the eggs. And then that should be enough to do all four. So I'm going to go ahead and get this painted. A little bit of paint on each just to kind of spread it out. And if you wanted to do like the black stain like I did on the other wheels, what you would do is you would just take a little bit of, of water. Um, I would just, I probably would put a smaller amount of paint on these and then dip your brush in water and then brush over it, wipe it off with a paper towel and it kind of gives you a stained wood look instead of a solid color. And you could do that with any of the colors. If you wanted kind of like a stained look for the other ones, you could do that as well. And like I said, it, it gives you more color options, I feel like. And also, you don't have the strong stain smell going on. Like you can just do this in your house. I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to have, like, a lot of ventilation for this type of paint. I'm not sure, but I mean, I don't really have, I don't smell anything. Okay, so. The edge is there. There's a little bit of a spot right there that needs painted, okay? And that's all of our parts pretty much painted now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to work on is the wagon, the crate itself. And this can get a little bit messy. I usually do this over, like, the sink, um, but I just brought in just an old towel to put underneath just because of the water it's you know it's like kind of watery and we'll grab a I use tons of paper plates to paint on okay so what you're gonna want to do with this let me get my water here real quick
And just put some uh, water in a cup. Oh, I got my dirty brushes in there already. Or what you can do is you could put a little bit of... She probably won't use this plate because there is glitter on it. Here, I got a brown one. I have like paper plates for every color of paint. I just keep reusing them. Okay, so put a little bit of paint on there. Maybe a little more than that. And then you're just going to take... Get your brush wet. And then you're just going to kind of, let me grab a paper towel too. And you can use paper towel or like an old, an old towel or something to wipe it off. It doesn't matter. I've used both. Both work good. The paper towels that you can just throw in, I mean, you could just wash the old towel if you wanted to. But what I do is I go ahead and I just start painting this on, this watery paint mixture. And you can already kind of see that it kind of looks like a stain. And if you think that you got it too dark or something, you can always lighten it up by putting a little extra water and going over it. And also when you um, take the paper towel over it, it'll take the excess water off. And this does dry fairly quickly. That's one reason why I figured I'd just paint while on the video because doing it this way, it does dry quick. So I can just, you can glue everything on pretty much right away. And down here where the glue is at, I don't, the paint doesn't really um, cover that, which you can just make that the back side. Or, I mean, if you wanted to, you could take a little piece of ribbon and go around the bottom or the top. That would be cute. But yeah, like, see, it doesn't really cover it, the glue down there. So it's fine. It's not going to be perfect. Um, you're going to want to do this on all four sides and then also the inside. Um, the inside you don't have to go all the way down because it is going to be covered with moss and we're going to stick a piece of foam in here. So you're not going to see but you, you are going to want to get a little bit of the inside at least because just in case... I mean, a little bit is going to probably show, or if you look at it, you're going to be able to see it. So, And the inside, I don't really wipe with a paper towel because it is the inside. And like I said, you don't really see a whole lot of it. So I just want the wood color in there, though, so it does match. Gonna get this painted up and I like to get inside the handles because you still can see the handles a little bit even after the carrots and everything are on it so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I paint the inside of the handles there And then wipe it off with a paper towel. And I mean, as you can see, it does look, it kind of brings the wood out if you do this. I might need to add a little bit more brown though. It's a little too watery, I think. And I mean, if you want a lighter brown, you can always um, like get a lighter brown paint or water this down more. And I mean, these spots right here aren't really taking where the, there must be a little bit of glue there. But I mean, it still looks cute. Okay, let's start this side. 
and you're you're gonna want to paint the top rim around here because you are gonna be able to see that. There's like a little piece of wood that came off. I mean, you can see the edges on these are a little rough. You have a little um, like frays of wood here. You can always sand that down if you wanted to, to make it smooth and so you don't have that. That's what that, that side looks like. And then we're gonna get the other side painted. You sometimes have to go um, in between these, these little indents here. Um, these aren't the crates that have the actual gap in it, but if you found those and wanted to use those, those would be cute as well. My Dollar Tree has not had those in a little bit. They pretty much just have these right now. And I did buy a couple of these um, to make a kissing booth. Um, so I had some left over that I end up not using. And so I'm probably going to need a little bit more water. And so just even adding a little bit of water to your brush kind of makes the paint go farther. Uh, you got to watch when it coming on the edge, it kind of flings at you if you're not, you know, if you're just going crazy with it like I am. Um, this is my DIY saw chart, so I don't care if I get some paint on it. It has paint on it already. <laughs> and I mean, that's turning out really nice. Go ahead and wipe it. If you feel like you want it a little darker or, um, you know, feel like there's not enough paint on there, you can always go over it again, but that's how it's turning out. I don't like how that's not covering, but it's fine. All right, I'm going to finish painting the inside here. little bit more brown and then we're about done with this part of it and like you can see the inside I mean I didn't even you know make a straight line there with the paint because you are not going to be able to see it, so. Unless you would put the foam in lower, which you could do that. That would still be cute. I kind of like the foam up higher, so that way the eggs kind of sit above the wagon. So you can actually see them. But I mean, if you wanted to do a wagon where they sit lower in there... Um, you could get a bunch of those carrots and put them on top of the moths instead of the eggs. There's a lot of things you could do with this. Okay, so we are going to let this dry for a few minutes here. Um, it, it does feel a little damp. I'm going to have glue guns on. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we'll go ahead and set this over here and let it dry okay now another thing that you're going to need for this and I forgot to mention earlier is a piece of foam so I got this at Dollar Tree so what you're going to want to do is measure which I have another crate here while mine's drying um, but they're the same the same thing the same size so what I'm going to do is kind of measure like how much foam I need and then I'll probably just make a little mark on the side here 
so I know where to cut it. Okay. This is the foam I had left over from the last one. So that's how much you don't need the whole thing, but that you'll have a little bit left over. You can save it for something else. Okay. So I made my mark right here. Honestly, I don't know what you guys use to cut the foam, but I, a bread knife works really good. Um, I mean, just be careful with it. In my, in, it, at least in my opinion, it makes less of a mess than, I don't know, scissors or I don't, I don't even know what else. And it cuts down. I mean, it works pretty good. So then I have the little block that I don't need. All right. Now let's just make sure that that's the right and it fits in there. So you can take the plastic off or you can leave it on. Um, I believe I just left it on on my other one. It kind of keeps the foam intact a little bit more so you don't have foam going everywhere. But once you have it covered, the foam's not going to go anywhere anyway. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hot glue this in there. So I'm going to put some hot glue inside the wagon. And I put a good amount. I make sure I get the whole, I mean, I don't cover it, but at least some you know, some swirls of hot glue in there. And then you're just going to slide your foam down. And that's how your wagon's going to look. You can see the foam through the wagon. I mean, you could put something inside there, maybe a piece of paper or foam or something in there to cover that if you don't want to see the foam on there, there, but I mean, I'm just going to glue a carrot there. I'm not too worried about it. You could glue two carrots there if you wanted, which maybe we'll do that today. We'll glue two carrots and see how that looks. Kind of like that. So we'll just go ahead and do that right now then. So I'm going to put hot glue on the carrot. Okay, this is going to be the front. Yeah, we'll do it like that. This is the front because it is the nicer of the two sides. So we're just going to make this the front. And just glue that on there. That looks cute. Okay, now on the other side, we're going to put our handle on this side. So I don't know where, oh, here it is. So what we'll do is we'll kind of lay our twine kind of like this where we want it. And then when we hot glue the carrots on there, it'll hot glue the twine with it. This is a little bit tricky um, because the twine, I mean, you could glue this down first. Just put like a little hot glue just to kind of hold it there in place while you get your carrots. And we'll put two on the front too. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue. And then I'm going to slide this handle over behind the carrot. I'm going to do the same thing with that one. So I'm going to hot glue the carrot. And it kind of spreads the handle out a little bit too. So that's how the handle part looks. So then you want to determine which side. Um, I mean, you could put eggs on both sides if you want to. 
or you can just determine which side you like better, which would be the side that's going to phase out, you know, for people to see. So I'm probably going to go, I kind of like this side. It's a little lighter, but you can really see the wood there. So I think I'm going to use this side to put the eggs on. Um, but what you want to do first probably is go ahead and glue the wheels on because those are definitely going to have to go in a certain spot. So what I did is I kind of just lined it up with the first line here to try to get it even on both sides. Um, line here and then take it to the edge here. So we'll just go ahead and put some hot glue right here in the corner. I need more glue sticks. Okay. And you know it's going to go up to that line, so kind of take the hot glue almost to the line. I'm putting it with the, like, the wider part of the egg face down and the like pointed top of the egg up. That's about, that's fine. You could put the hot glue on the egg or the wagon. It really doesn't matter. So you want to look at them and make sure that they're about even. Oops, my carrot fell off. That's our first set of wheels.